The places I'm used to are less populated. In this area that we're in in Jackson, there's kind of a lot of aged places, so you don't have to look too hard to find those spots. It's just finding the ones that have something to offer. The most interesting things are the things that people aren't paying that much attention to anymore. You could find this anywhere in the South. This doesn't just have to be in Jackson. It's finding kind of a universal truth about the South that's not necessarily abandoned and dirty, but it's just subtle, um, aged history. There's just a past that's kind of all across the South from where I'm from, from Jackson, everywhere that's kind of universal. So just being able to point to that and be amb ambiguous about where it's shot exactly, but also let it kind of speak to anyone. I felt like the images themselves include shapes that could allude to a frame without putting them in a frame. I thought putting these in a frame would take away from the figures that are already in the pieces and letting them be primitive, letting them be raw without being behind glass or within a frame. This implication of void space when I shot these, I wasn't thinking about, oh, that's gonna be a black window. I wasn't thinking about these areas, they're gonna be dark. Those are things I found after. So I think there could be a lot to lend itself to the process of shooting for those spaces, of looking for places that are gonna give me this blacked out void because the, the mind wants to put something there and that's very intriguing and interesting. The process in the dark room is so it, like interesting to me, it's so unique to me, it's very tactile. It feels more sculptural than sitting at a computer or taking digital. I shoot digital as well, I have experience with digital and I love it, but something about going in the dark room and putting the paper in the chemistry and letting it kind of do that work um, is very intriguing to me. It's very like rewarding to see it bloom on the paper.